Easy Post Hawaii Bowl, a shipping company sponsoring the Hawaii Bowl. Come on, we can get more exciting than that. Saturday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern on ESPN between Coastal Carolina and San Jose State in Honolulu. San Jose State, 10, 10 and a half point favorite here over under 52 and a half. A lot of news here. Grayson McCall, he committed to NC State. I doubt he'll play. Jared Guest also in the portal. It's going to be Ethan Vasco who gets the start. He had 233 snaps this year. Their starting wide receiver, Jared Brown, he's in the portal, might play. Running back C.J. Beasley in the portal, might play. Starting linebacker, J.T. Killen, might play. So Tim Beck came out today and said he's still compiling who's going to play. He said some guys are going to play there in the portal, some guys are not. It's kind of important. Um, they're starting nickelback. Juan Powell missed the final two games of injury as well. San Jose State, their stud starting left tackle, Fernando Carmona. He's really good. Portal. He won't play, and they're Arkansas. Really yeah, Arkansas. That was a good get, and uh, better than the Eastern Michigan tight end. And then this starting, they're starting tight end Dominic Mazzotti, also in the portal. When I, oh, you know, did you see where he went? <sighs> Mazzotti, I, I, I can't UMass. remember off the top of my head. Oh, did he? Yeah, UMass, crazy, going all the way across the country. Uh so when I look at this game. Ethan Vasco, when he played, he played well, and he can run it, and that's the biggest weakness of the San Jose State defense. I also, I think, so I like Coastal. I'm, I'm, I, do I, too. I want them. I want them. It looks like it's going to come down. So much at the bet this now, but I think Vasco will be able to run it on this team, and then just from a motivation standpoint, San Jose State really finished the season strong, but they thought that they should be in the Mountain West Conf in the Mountain West Championship. They were just in Hawaii a month ago. Like, is this really exciting to them to play Coastal Carolina? Meanwhile, Coastal Carolina, everything I've read, like you're going across the country from you know Conway, South Carolina to Hawaii. A lot of these kids will be the only time they ever go to Hawaii in their life. San Jose State was just there. And um, I think with Vasco and a couple of these other guys that are in the portal play, and that signifies to me, like even though those guys in the portal, they're still going to play in the bowl. Like there was even rumors McCall might even play. So like I think I think Coastal cares here. I think that Vasco was good when he was in. He'll be able to run it, and you can run it on this San Jose State D. I know the Coastal D is trash. Um, and the San Jose State back, what's his name? Uh, should have a lot of success here. But hey, missing your left tackle, your tight end, running dog, catching double digits in Hawaii. Uh, I like the chance. I do too. I'm a little bit torn on when do we buy this, right? Because obviously I want 11 and I can see that there's a couple books that as you and I are recording dip down to nine and a half. But do we finally find out who's making this 12 hour one shot flight to Hawaii and maybe we get another boost in the, in the point spread? I don't know, but you're right. Ethan Vasco to get, he's going to get the start. He's played in five games. He started week 10, 11 and 13, three to three big time throws to turnover worthy plays. And I think the problem is, is he completed just three passes uh, of 17 attempts with a pressured pocket. The good news is San Jose State has one of the lowest blitz numbers in all of college football, 26%. Yeah. They have average success in creating pressure with that low 26% blitz. And they're 48th in pass rush grading per PFF. That's all great news for Ethan Vasco because his biggest problem is hands in his face. Vasco, 34 of 38 rushing attempts were designed runs. He averages about eight yards a carry on the season with just a single fumble. Uh, that is something, you know, really important. If you're going to fill in for Grayson McCall, you need to be able to run, and he can. San Jose State is not good at stopping inside zone, 40% success rate. There is a path for Coastal to move the chains and score here. Now, San Jose State, Siobhan Cordero, he is not a designed run quarterback. He's a scramble quarterback. He always has been. They have explosive backs and running back Harry Robinson. Quayley Conley, they each are at least 4.2 yards after contact. Inside zone is a big strength for San Jose State. And Coastal is 113th in defending the run, and they have average success rate against inside zone. So San Jose State is going to be able to move the ball here, and they're sixth in rush explosives. Coastal does have a solid tackling fundamentals. or 16th in broken tackles allowed. I love that stat because when explosive ground offenses – get out in space, you have to have a defense that just needs one guy to make the tackle. Coastal Carolina has that. So, you know, both teams, heavy rush EPA advantages. I project the total 51 and a half. I prefer the over. It's kind of in a dead zone right now. 
But like we said, you know, coastal here is the play. I would love to get 11. I, I'm just, I don't know. Should we let the list? Are you going to buy it now? Or am I, should yeah, I, I think I'm going to buy it now. Cause I think that this might, this team might be probably leak. Might could be leaks about some of the coastal guys that are flying. I think I'll join you. I'll buy it now. So for everybody out there, it's, it's 10 and a half out. I'm going to put it in now. I would, I mean, I would still buy it down to anything above seven and a half. Ten. Yeah, yeah. 10. I would look for 10, try to get 10. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think they're live here too. <laughs> Why not? Every other double digit dog is. Well, it's a third string quarterback and the third string quarterbacks. Yeah. All they <laughs> well, do this is This just cover. fits the system, right? Can yeah. we get this into it's... action labs? Yeah. Uh, third string quarterback. <laughs> I'm in. 